It was a chilly Friday night. Leading scientist and zoology expert Rufus T. Rhomboid was just returning home after making another boring appearance on a local little Tokyo radio talk show. <coughs> oh, boy, it's cold. Oh. Who are you? I have our eighth victim, famed zoologist Rufus T. Rhomboid in my sights. I'm closing in. I got it. I'm using the energy assimilator on him now. Mission accomplished. Breaking those items. Rufus T. Romboy kidnapped. Reward for his return offered by chimpanzees at City Zoo. Fear not, ladies. No. No kidnapper would dare lay a hand on your lovely heads as long as I walk the streets of Little Tokyo. But only boring scientists are getting kidnapped. Can't you read? You can't be too careful, Lucille. Look at it this way. I'll guard and protect you, and we can do a little flirting on the side. I'll take me to dinner. Go eat all. You couldn't guard a bench warmer on a peewee basketball team, hairball. Oh, yeah? Wouldn't you like me to protect you? Mm -mm. See? Besides, the script says I protect her. So what? I'll fire the writer. I want to spend two. Oh, I thought it was better. All this stuff is fighting immediately. All right. <laughs> I think I overreacted. Why'd you lose your temper, Lucille? We were only playing. Meanwhile, in the basement of an abandoned steak and sushi joint, the kidnapped scientists were being forced to combine their scientific knowledge with their totally boring personalities into a frightening new weapon. Wake up! But if I don't get my eight hours, I get very cranky. Hey, got an answer for everything, don't you, wise guy? Stay awake and start thinking now. Bad Bird went on to gently explain to Rumboy that a man his age should only need six hours anyway. Are we sticking to our timetable, Jerry? Tell me. It appears we're right on schedule. Goody, goody, I'm dying to test it. This dream beam weapon will combine all the boring personality traits of those scientists into one blanketing ray that will put all of little Tokyo citizens into a deep sleep. While they sleep, we'll steal their bedroom furniture, sell it back to them at an enormous markup, and make barrels of money. Are you certain this ray will knock out everyone? Everyone! And the samurai pizza cats are no exception! Look at my deal, I'm so evil! Do me a favor, will you? Rustle up four more boring scientists just for good measure. The next morning, the headline was devastating. Wow, that's devastating. You can say that again. Do you notice anything unusual about all these kidnappings, Guido? No one has sent a ransom note. I smell something. I do too, Speedy. We, we smell something. something. Huh? You know why we smell something, Guido? Yeah, the kitchen's on fire. Man, just when business was getting good. Ah! <gasps> what do you young yo yo think you're doing? Playing fireman in the kitchen? Ah! When I was playing, the kitchen was on fire. <laughs> that was no fire. That was just the aroma of this new jalapeno pizza I invented. Jalapeno? It's a pepper. Hello, Samurai Pizza Cats. Would you like to try our new jalapeno pizza? Get the pizza cats. Okay, sir, they're on their way. Our dentist is called. He needs you right now. Uh, attention, Pilgrim. Don't get mad and praise your excitement, but the pizza cat fuse is about to be lighted. Oh, yeah, and be sure to try our new jalapeno pizza. Ready, aim, fire. It's a Mexican anchovy, dear. Uh-oh. 
I think they may be heading for a crash landing. You gotta be kidding! Hmm. What's that? I hear something. Hi there, Al. Glad we dropped by. I'm ecstatic, but couldn't you use the front door? Francine made a slight miscalculation. What's up, Al? Our friend and spiritual mentor, Gunulu, is missing. <gasps> the last time we saw him was during the Mount Coochie Keeper. Bad word and he casually had launched a flying robot with a giant magnifying glass in each wing. His plan was to focus the sun's rays on Little Tokyo and make it crisper than burnt lasagna. Lou promised us our own flying robot to obliterate bad birds, and by Joe, he delivered. My hero. <laughs> he was supposed to talk about the caper on the Carson show, but instead he bored the whole audience with off-color jokes about atomic energy. Lou phoned here yesterday to tell me he'd invented a new garbage disposal and asked me if I wanted one installed in my kitchen. I told him, sure, come on over tomorrow morning around 11. It's well past 11 and he hasn't shown up. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. Will you two quit that whispering? I know someone's abducted him. I want you to find him, Pizza Cat. Yes, sir! The cat's vowed not only to find Guru Lu, but all the other scientists. My room! Happy to find those scientists. Come back and fix my room. <sighs> An excellent dinner. Oh, sir, hadn't you better be getting to Al Dente's house? You know you're way overdue. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. I guess I should get going. Though I'd rather stay here and use Al Dente's charge account to buy more food. <laughs> Eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> there once was a cat from Mandu. Rousy from considerable traces of monosodium glutamate and other harmful food additives present in the tremendous meal he just consumed, Guru Lu nonetheless staggered out of the restaurant and made his way through the byways of Little Tokyo to El Dente's house. Unaware that a pair of sinister robotic eyes followed his every move. I think I'll stop and pick up a bagel. <laughs> this garbage disposal weighs a ton, along with all the other things I carry. <laughs> The 12th victim cornered and they're moving in for the kill. My instructions are to bring you back unharmed, Mother of Science. Do nothing to incur my wrath. Do you understand? <laughs> you can't get me! Oh, fudge. <laughs> Wanna play games, Creepoid? Well, you'll be no match for Guru Lu. <laughs> we gotcha. All right, use the energy assimilator on him before he comes to. Yeah. Remind me to change that plunger when we get back. It's already got 20,000 miles on it. Yeah. Who's that? We had a feeling you were behind these kidnappings, bad bird. And now we know. You guys, you're not gonna let these goody two-shoes ruin our fun, are ya? Ruthless, what's the matter with you, boy? Your robot has assimilated all the monosodium glutamate I had at dinner. Why? Uh, I suggest a heaping helping of milk of magnesia. Bad bird, let him go! We'll retreat for now. <laughs> ah, come back and fight, you turkey. Ah, she's getting the way. It's cool. We can follow them wherever they go. Got them in the league with this transmitter. Hey, did that come in red? <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life. <laughs> come on, Polly. Not so fast, huh? huh? My latest invention. Wow, like we're overwhelmed. But one question, how'd you get all that junk in that little box? Same way we get all the weird stuff that goes on here, through the magic of animation. Those are some strange-looking gadgets. Uh, what's this one? 